what's going on here with the Titans. Um, uh, what, what do you think about what's happening with this franchise here? They took a defensive yeah. tackle last night, not the, obviously the sexiest pick, but a very crucial position to. right here. What, yeah. do you, what do you think about the Titans right now? Um, I think they're headed in the right direction. Uh, Mike Rabel uh, came in with a lot of, uh, uh, I guess, questions in terms of his youth, where he, where he came from and so forth. But I think he's the great fit for what they're trying to become. And now he's uh, building that culture that they, they're looking for. Mm -hmm. he, you know, for, for the type of defense that he wants to have and that he's accustomed to having, he wants some guys that are going to be fist fighters. They're going to be nasty in the trenches. And, and based off of the highlights that I've seen, cause we didn't see this kid play last year because he had a torn ACL. Right. Um, based off of what I see, when he's healthy, he's very disruptive. And had he been healthy, he probably have been top five. So they're banking on the fact that he's going to come back healthier, probably, you know, did their due diligence on his knee. He's probably in line to, to be healthy again. And they're saying he can be a true difference maker on the defensive line because they're in a conference where they have to face Deshaun Watson twice, uh, Andrew Luck, now Nick Foles, Foles. Uh, twice and, and these are quarterbacks that can get it done so they're going to have to get heat up front and that's what they needed so uh i, I kind of know the answer to this question so i'll ask it uh, anyway because i I'm, I'm gonna be eager to hear it how do you like the way derrick henry runs the football oh, come here? On. i like the second half of the year he derrick was henry. i mean it, it, it was dr jekyll and mr Hyde. well right? or, or we could just say it clicked you know it did something it really may have did. clicked for him yeah, he ran with uh, oh my gosh more passion, desire. He ran with more a sense of urgency. Do you think that's the Derrick Henry? I know that's from the Derrick. now on. That's the, but that's what he, that's how he ran in Alabama. He did. I know. That's how he ran in high school. So it took him some time to figure it out. He was a backup behind a Demarco Murray for the first two years, so he had to accept that role. So he got accustomed to to running that way and trying to hit the home run every single time when he should allow the game to come to him. And once he got settled. And being in that role of saying, I, okay, I got time to set up my runs. I can impose my will. I don't have to score a touchdown every time. He's, he's just become a beast, a man among a men. Right. I mean, that 99-yard run, how many stiff arms did he lay it's on amazing. every It was awesome. It's one of the, the greatest 99-yard run I've ever – there's only two guys to ever do it. Right. And that was Tony Dorsett and him. But, my God, that was, that's incredible. Yeah. That's it's right. his team. Yeah, I know you're shaking yeah, your head. The Jaguar fan is not his head. <laughs> your team. Your, your great Jacksonville Jaguar defense. Jalen Ramsey, Miles Jack, all these guys. <laughs> Still getting stiff arm to this day. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I, I love twisting into Jacksonville's ribs. I love it. Yeah, well, Beat you three times in one, one year in 99. Remember that? <laughs> Remember that? Remember, Remember that? that? All three losses came this, to us. This fella beat with everybody his, else in the league but us. With his Duval County his pride coming here thinking, <laughs> hey, I'm going to see Eddie George today. And now he's getting I know. For more of the Rich Eisen Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV for free on BR Live or download the Rich Eisen Show app.